Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Here we go again. Another round of heavy rain moving through southern New England this morning. You can see it down in Newport and up through Providence too over the hurricane barrier camera. Just a good soaking here. It's a quick hitting rain event where it's really going to be through the end of the morning and early afternoon before we'll see things quiet down as the day goes on. Some pockets of drizzle and some mist will linger into the later afternoon, but the flood threat focused mostly on this morning. We've got a beautiful weekend that follows, though. Temperatures will be warm significantly so especially Saturday and our skies will be dry and speaking of warmer air early October looks above average most of next week have us into the 70s the National Weather Service just updating their flash flood watch they've kept it in effect for Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts but dropped it for the Boston Worcester and Hartford area Springfield as well and it's still in effect until four o'clock we're watching rivers and streams even after this heavy rain moves through the steadiest and heaviest of it starting to shift to areas south and east east of Providence, where the north and west of there is 95. You're still getting some decent rainfall, but notice those higher rainfall rates of an inch to an inch and a half per hour now focused along the coastline in places like Fall River and New Bedford. Those communities where you see street flooding when it rains heavy, you're likely going to encounter that here over the next two hours. Looking back to the west of us, lingering showers stretching back into Connecticut and the central and eastern part of Long Island. But again, conditions will pretty quickly uh, improve, at least for heavy rainfall by midday. Our temperatures right now, they've been unchanged throughout most of the morning between 55 and 60. Notice our shower chances going from widespread this morning to only about a 20% with some leftover drizzle and mist in the afternoon hours. Here's our center of our storm right now. It's racing eastward and will continue to track to the east pretty quickly this morning. So by lunchtime, it's sitting just south of Rhode Island. Heavy rain offshore by the evening commute with clouds lingering, but those clouds clearing out for your later evening and the night looks dry and quiet. There's a cold front to the west of us Saturday. We're on the warm side of that front during the day Saturday. By the time it reaches us, there's no precipitation and barely any clouds with it. So it passes through without much fanfare. But what it does do, it brings down our temperatures about five degrees from Saturday's highs to what we'll see on Sunday. So heaviest rain will fall before one o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking at an inch to an inch and a half in most spots, but a little uh, area of two to three inch rainfall totals possible. Right now it would look like southern Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass would be the most likely area for that. Street flooding and smaller stream flooding and river flooding possible. Right now, the Patuxet still within its banks. Here's how the afternoon looks. Widespread rain again, tapering to showers and drizzle. Notice the clouds still overhead at 5 o'clock this evening. Those clouds do clear out. And the games uh, for the high schools this evening looking drier, clearing skies, and a chilly night for us down to around 50. Beautiful weekend on the way for us. Saturday's high near 74 degrees. We'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s through much of the afternoon. And the highs on Sunday, just a few degrees cooler cooler but dry skies and looking good for game time. Gillette Stadium at Foxborough, your highs close to 70 and we'll be into the mid 70s early and middle of next week. There's a couple of chances for some showers. Tuesday night would be one of them and then again on Thursday. We'll keep you updated on a full forecast all